Do you know how to create your own map in just a few clicks? Stay with us to find out. Hi, welcome to Lagdin YouTube channel. This is our first of several tutorials for Google My Maps. We will take you through different levels starting from beginners level to advanced level throughout these tutorials. Since this is the first tutorial, we will guide you through basics of Google My Maps including the need, creating a blank map, interface and the basic tools, finding and adding locations, Customizing the map by adding more details and symbols. Preview and share your map. There are two questions we need to find answers before we start using Google My Map. The first question is, why do you need a customized Google Map instead of normal Google Map? Have you ever tried to create a map with multiple locations using normal Google Map? You can't do it. It allows only to show one location or one route at a time in a map. You can't import data from other sources like spreadsheets or Google Earth etc. That's why Google company has introduced a tool to do exactly that. With Google My Maps you will be able to create multiple locations or routes on site, import data from other sources, organize the data and data layers, store more details with pictures and videos, symbolize the maps, share or embed the maps. The next question is, when do you need to create a custom map? Google My Maps is a great free online tool for student projects as well as personal or business projects. For example, you can use it as a travel log for your visits. You may be an expert in geoinformatics or not. Sometimes you will need to save or share your spatial data. Spatial data means data which have a relation with its location. That is the time you need to start using Google My Maps. Since this is accessible via any web browser, it is not depend on the device you use. You can take it anywhere with you. Now let's open Google My Maps. Type Google My Maps in your web browser search bar and then press enter. Then click on this link. This is the about page. You can read this to get an idea, but I have explained all the things you need for this tutorial. Click on this get started to log in. To use Google My Maps, you need to have a Google account. If you do not have one, you can sign up from here. Otherwise, sign in using your Google account. This is the home page of Google My Maps. You can see that I do not have any already created maps. When you create maps, they will show up here. To create a new map, click on this red create a new map button. Now you can see a familiar view of Google Maps which has zoomed to your country or state, in my case the country. But this is not the usual Google map, you can see there are many differences. Here you can easily identify the differences in these two views. Now let's have a look at the interface and some important basic tools. In the middle section, you have the search bar instead of in the left panel. Under that, you have these tools for undo, redo, pan, add marker, draw a line, add directions, and measure distances and areas. In the left panel, you have the title of the map, add layer, share and preview map, first data layer, and base map. Let's get familiar with the basic tools you will need to use in Google My Maps. Using the mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out the map. If you look at carefully at the mouse cursor, you can see that it is not an arrow, it is a hand. This is the default mouse cursor. If you have selected any other tool, you can not see this. Then simply click on the hand icon on this toolbar located here. Now when you click and hold the left mouse button on the map, it will hold the map. When you move the mouse while holding the mouse button, it will move the map. This is called pan. Now you can use these tools to find your places. There is another method to zoom into your places if you know the name. You can type the name and search in the search bar. It will automatically zoom and pan to that location. Now you know how to use the most important basic tools in Google My Maps. The next step is to create data. 
before that let's name our map and the first layer to give a title to the map click here on the untitled map name then a pop-up window will open like this here you can give a name and a description to the map let's name this as my travel log and in the description i will give it as the places i have visited in sri lanka then save it then let's rename the layer click here in this three dots next to untitled layer then click on rename this layer then type a name i will give it as places in colombo now we can add places to our map you can use either search bar or zoom and pan tools to view your first place in the map i will show you both options in two examples first i will use the mouse to find the first place then zoom it into an extent that you can see the place clearly then click on this add marker tool and then you can see the mouse cursor is changed to a cross then bring that mouse cursor to your first location and click once on the top of the place then you will get a pop-up window like this with two text areas to enter name and the description let's give the name and a small description about this place and then press save let's find and mark another place using search bar type the name of the place and search then it will automatically zoom and pan to your place and you will get a pop-up message like this here you have two options to save this one as one of your locations the first one is while this window is open click on this add to map option the other method is to click on this cross next to the search result in your left side panel the results are the same the location will be added your layer it has a name and a different kind of a description you can remove these details by clicking here since the name of the location generated automatically and if you want to change it click here on this edit option then you can give a name and a description likewise add few places before we go to the next one now let's give symbols and colors to the location in our map to change color and symbol click here on this paint bucket icon on either here or here then you can change the color from this palette after that you can choose any symbol from here likewise change the others also you can also add images or videos to the locations to add an image or video click on the location and click here on this camera icon then you will get a pop-up window like this here you can upload a file add image url select a photo from your gallery google drive google search etc for this exercise i will use google image search option type the name of the place here then select the image you want to add and click here on select it will take a moment and then you can see it like this if you want to add more images or videos click here on this cross mark and repeat the same process and then press save now we are almost complete our first map what is left is to preview and share the map google my map can be used as your own database as well as it also can be used as a great sharing platform google my maps allows you to share your creations among friends or public or you can embed your maps in websites also since we are in the editors view you are the only person who can view the map like this before sharing the others do not see the map like this to view the map as others do click here on this preview now it will open like this in another window to share this map with others click here on the share it will open a message window like this called quick sharing i'm not going to explain this i'll explain this in the next tutorial for this click here on the drive sharing option here you will be able to add people once you add a person you can change that person's privilege level from here you can select the person as a viewer or an editor if you want to add more people with different privileges you need to share the map separately with each group in the next tutorial we will show you how to 
plan a trip by using more intermediate options like adding more layers, grouping the locations, changing the base map, add directions, and more sharing options. We hope that these tutorials will help you to ease your related work. Subscribe our channel to stay with us for more tutorials. Please give us any comments or send messages to our Facebook account. Thank you.